Hey Pfingsters and welcome to today's video about the Python cur function, <laughs> chr function. So this is one of Python's built-in functions. So you can use the function without importing it. And in today's video, I will just quickly explain the, the function. This is part of my series about all the Python built-in functions. So let's dive right into it. The Python uh, chr hr function or character function takes one uh, one number as an input argument and this is like the unicode integer um, associated to the character of the uni of the unicode argument so let's have an example here in this table so here we have the unicode cable table unicode is just an encoding so every character as you may know in um, computing everything is um, is encoded as a series of zeros and ones, and um, uh, so and a bunch of zeros and ones together build uh, some more complicated integers, and you can uh, calculate these integers as decimal numbers. So of course, if they are zeros and ones, like a series of zeros and ones, then those are binary numbers, and those binary numbers are translated into decimal numbers. And now we have the decimal numbers. For example, the decimal number 65 is um, according to the Unicode table the um, encoding for the Unicode character A. Okay, and then we have the decimal number 66, uh, which is then another series of zeros and ones, um, which is uh, which encodes the Unicode character B and so on. Okay, and so each and Unicode is a huge alphabet consisting of uh, of those mappings from numbers, from integer numbers, if you want, to um, Unicode characters. Like we have uh, uppercase, lowercase. We even have like very strange characters. So the Unicode alphabet is very powerful. It consists of many, many. Um, so it can encode many, many languages, even very niche languages, I would say, with only a few hundred thousand of uh, people speaking them. But Unicode is still powerful enough. It has all the different symbols you can imagine, even smileys and all this stuff. So, um, so this is, uh, and the character function, it helps you. So you put in this one number, the integer number that... Um, uh, it's associated to a Unicode symbol and then you get out this Unicode symbol. So um, have now let's have a few examples. Maybe refreshing this. Okay, so here we have a code shell and now we can put in character character function uh, for the Unicode integer 65. We can also like what what is 66? It's a uppercase B. What is 67? Now you can take a guess. <laughs> yes, it's a character C. And now we can, we can also put in like um, more uh, uh, um, complicated num uh, more larger numbers like 8364. Uh, which is a euro symbol and actually this goes on and on and on there are so many different I think so uh, from top of my head I think this one is the last uh, Unicode symbol so we have uh, the number one 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 four one 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 so this integer number and this is the last mapping in the Unicode table so this is like number one million one hundred 14,111 different symbols exist in the Unicode table and this is the last symbol and it doesn't even have an encoding here so the Python, my Python editor cannot cannot display this Unicode symbol but I'm sure I'm sure this is a like um, a real symbol so if you, if you check the Unicode table for this symbol we get the result So let's search this site. Four one one one. Uh. Yeah, so this is what we want. Okay, this is an undefined character. So the last Unicode symbol is the undefined character. <laughs> I don't know. So it has for some encodings, maybe if you have if you have a, um, a number of, uh, if you have a text and you cannot read the, uh, any character or so from the text or you cannot read one character from the text, like it is not possible, maybe it is corrupted or so, then it will probably replace it with the undefined character so that you know that something went wrong or so. Okay, so each each Unicode symbol has a, has a unique... Um, 
a unique number associated, you can express this number as a decimal number, as a hexadecimal number, as a binary number. This doesn't really matter because all of them have the same value, right? So you can, you can for each binary number, you can calculate uh, very easily the decimal number and so on. So, and uh, the character function gives us the power to do so. Good, so let's dive into a few, um, uh, so, so yeah, um, a few examples. So we have already seen the character, um, calling character 65 resides in character A, calling character 8364 resides in the Euro symbol. But what happens if you use like a very large character that is actually or a very small uh, character integer input. So for example, say we have minus one as an input, then it will throw a value error and, and indicates that the character argument is not in the range 0x110000 and this is actually the hexadecimal number of uh, 114111. So this is like the maximum number you can pass into the uh, character function as we have seen. And what happens if you if you if you pass this number now into the character function we get this one and if we pass one number be beyond this this is now the undefined Unicode symbol, one number beyond this, so we increase it by one. Now we get the error, okay? So if you if you pass any number that is smaller than zero or larger than 1,140,111, uh, then you get the value error and you can of course fix the value error by replacing your input with a valid argument. And this is now, uh, so one one thing I want to mention, so if you, if you, if you encode, so if you find say number 65, then we, we obtain the result a, but how can we how can we um, like do the inverse mapping from the Unicode symbol to the integer number in the Unicode table? And we can do this with the ORD function. This is also a Python built-in function. We pass our character a, and we obtain our number 65. So the question of the day: What happens if we do the following? So what is the output of this code? So we call the character function and then we call the ordinary odd function and then we map, uh, we put in as an argument A. Okay, so the result is um, if, you, if, you, if you call this one, you get the number 65. So the result of this odd function call is 65. And if you put in 65 in the character function, we obtain the, num the um, symbol A. And this is our output, okay? So this one basically maps from A to A back. So because it's two times the inverse function is the original function again. Okay, so I think that's enough for today. If you uh, want to uh, boost your Python skills and check out our free email academy, uh, just subscribe and you will get sent a number of Python cheat sheets and a uh, lot of Python lessons, a growing library of Python email courses. So check it out, it's uh, free. And uh, yeah, see you in the uh, Python course. Thanks for listening and uh, see you in the next video, bye.